Hi all of you, welcome back to yet another video. Let me show you that how you can write smart contract for NFT marketplace in Rust programming language. Again, I will give you a quick overview that how you can write it, what are the function you have to write it and how the contract exactly look in Rust programming language because it's quite different from the sortie. I believe that you guys have followed the sortie playlist and you guys have watched all the project which we have built including the NFT marketplace where we have it in the smart contract and build the app. But in this video, I will show you in the last video, I show you that how you can write a smart contract in Rust programming language for ERC20 token. So if you haven't watched, make sure to watch that. So this is the simple smart contract I have written. Again, this is a very simple function we have, which allow us to mint the NFT and keep the track of the NFT, including the balance. And we are storing the information in the contract. So we are using this particular library, link lang. It's really powerful. I suggest you to come back to this particular library. Here you will find all the information about this particular library that what it does and how you can utilize it to write even more advanced smart contracts. So make sure to check this out, but let's come back here. So this is the very simple NFT marketplace smart contract. So first we have this link storage and that we have defined couple of variables. Again, if you guys are familiar with Ross programming language, then it will make sense. But if you don't, I want you to watch this video. It will give you the general idea and the structure that how exactly the Rust programming language look like. So in case in future, if you are working on a Solana where you have to write the smart contract on the Rust, then you will have an idea when your client will take to have a look on the Rust program, then you will have an at least idea that how the data, data structure is look like. So here we have the link story type in that we have defined that map hash stories has map or stories when then we have this marketplace SNR struct that what are the information we are keeping. So we are keeping the information about the owner, then the token, then the balance. And that's how we can do it. Then we have this particular token one. Then we are defining the variables. We are using this U64. In that we have this token ID, account ID and the balance. We have another struct for the transfer because these are the important things which you have to keep in mind because whenever the transaction will take place in the smart contract, you have to monitor the data and you have to keep in the a keep in the contract so you can so you can fetch it and you can display in the front end. So this is the first function we have, which is a constructor. And this is going to be called when you will deploy the contract. So we have very simple function in that we are simply updating the information about the owner of the contract. And that's what we are calling here. Then we have this particular function, this first function, it's a public function. And that all we have to do is to so user can call this function and they can mend the NFT. So we have called this caller, then we are checking for the condition that only owner can mint token. That's the check we are doing. Then we are getting the token and then we are simply initializing the data in our struct. Then we are updating and that's what we are passing, including the struct and the event. So that's a pretty simple function we have here for the NFT minting. So I'll close that one. And here we have the function which allow us to transfer the NFT to the user. So we have a couple of things. So to the token ID and here we have the mute self. We are calling the function, checking the balance. Then we are checking for the conditions. Then we are throwing the error if we not satisfy this particular condition. After that, we are simply deducting the fund, updating the information, and then we are simply updating the information in our struct variable. And that's what we have taken above. And the last function we have is simple balance of, which will return the balance of the user based on the account ID. So this is a very simple smart contract for NFT marketplace in Rust programming language. I want you to get yourself familiar. So when it's come to become a blockchain developer, a smart contract developer, you have to know that what are the possible option you have to write the smart contract. So you don't need to always rely on the specific blockchain for writing a specific program language. Like Solana is getting very popularity and it's super duper fast in terms of transactions. So if you know Solana, if you know Rust programming language, you can serve your client in multiple way. So the reason why I'm making this video because recently I got two project for the Solana. So I thought let's make a tutorial and let's give you a quick overview that how Rust programming language exactly work when it's come to writing a smart contract for the Solana blockchain. So quick have a look. If you guys want do let me in the comment section and do let me know that how many of you are good in Rust. How many of you know Rust programming language? If you don't, then definitely try to start learning a little bit and I soon I will share the resources which you can follow to learn the Rust programming language soon so you guys can follow that with that i'm into this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.